Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on inward radial flow reaction turbine. In this video, we are going to find out what is the volume flow rate, power developed as well as hydraulic efficiency in the turbine with the help of velocity diagram. So first, I will read what is the given problem. A reaction turbine works at 450 rpm under a head of 120 meters. Its diameter at inlet is 120 cm and the flow area is 0.4 meter square. The angles made by absolute and relative velocities at inlet are 20 degree and 60 degree respectively with the tangential velocity. Determine first volume flow rate, second power developed, third hydraulic efficiency assume whirl at outlet to be zero so this was the given question let us first understand the given data and we will draw the velocity diagram now if we observe it is given that the speed of turbine that is n is equal to 450 revolution per minute then head h is 120 meter diameter at inlet d1 is equal to 1.2 meter then the flow area so flow area we can define here pi d1 b1 and which is equal to 0.4 meter square then the angle made by absolute velocity so angle made by absolute velocity at inlet is known as alpha and which is equal to 20 degree and angle made by relative velocity at inlet so here it is known as theta and it is equal to 60 degree and whirl at outlet vw2 is equal to zero now from this data we have to draw first inlet velocity diagram and outlet velocity diagram now how to draw this inlet velocity diagram so here if we observe we have to refer angle theta so angle theta is equal to 60 degree that means here theta is the acute angle and for this acute angle vw1 is greater than u1 so we can say that vw1 is greater than u1 so for this diagram you can refer my previous video the link is given in the description box in that video i have told that is how to draw the velocity diagram for the different conditions so this is one of the condition when theta is acute so we have to show vw1 is greater than u1 and with the help of angle alpha and theta we have to draw here velocity diagram so first i will take here angle made by v1 with angle alpha so here v1 that is the absolute velocity i have to draw and angle alpha is given so this angle alpha is made with the line tangent so tangent at the inlet point so inlet point is a here and this is the tangent at point a so i have to draw one line parallel to this tangent And this is the angle alpha that is equal to 20 degree and here this is the absolute velocity that is v1. Now in the same way angle made by relative velocity is angle theta. So this is the angle also made with the tangent. So I have to show theta is equal to 60 degree. So I will show here. So when I will draw this is the first tangent line that is important and with this tangent line we have to show different angles. So here is the angle theta and this is the angle theta made with tangent line and here is Vr1 that is the relative velocity. Now what is the remaining that is flow velocity. So here from this tip that is from this point A I have to show one vertical line and here is the direction and I will show this is Vf1 that is the velocity of flow. So this is the velocity diagram at the inlet. So Vw1 is greater than U1. So up to this point of intersection we have to show U1. And here in between two end points we have to show Vw1.
now we will move for the outlet velocity diagram so what is the condition given so velocity of whirl at the outlet is zero means what here the angle beta is equal to 90 degree so we have to show that now we will first move for this tip b that is this point b is at the outlet tip and here i will draw one tangent line that is passing through this point b now i will draw here one line parallel to this tangent line now if we observe here is the relative velocity that we have to draw making an angle phi so i will draw here relative velocity so this is the line with relative velocity that is uh, this is at the outlet so at outlet we will use here suffix 2 that is vr2 and with this tangent line vr2 is making an angle phi now what about the angle beta so angle beta is 90 degree because the condition is that vw2 is equal to 0 so for this condition also you can refer my previous video because for this condition how to draw the velocity diagram that is also given in that video so when angle beta is equal to 0 that means we have to show absolute velocity at point b that is we have to make an angle 90 degree with this tangent line so i will draw here one vertical line passing through this point b here is the angle beta that is equal to 90 degree so here v2 this line indicates v2 which is equal to vf2 so this is the outlet velocity diagram now we will first calculate what is the value of this u1 so how to calculate so as per the given data we have one formula u1 is equal to because this is the tangential velocity or we can say velocity at the tangent so u1 is equal to pi d1 n by 60 so d1 is the diameter of this outer periphery because this is the inlet this periphery this is the inlet and here is the this inside periphery is the outlet because flow is moving from the outer periphery to inside periphery so here d1 is given that is the diameter of this outside periphery is given so pi d1 n by 60 so when we put here d1 1.2 meter n 450 rpm then 60 then we will get here u1 is equal to 28.27 meter per second now if we observe this diagram then tan alpha is equal to so how we can define this tan alpha so tan alpha is equal to vf1 by vw1 so we will refer this triangle so tan alpha so what is the value of alpha alpha is given 20 so tan, tan 20 vf1 by vw1 so tan, tan 20 is 0.364 so we can say that vf1 is equal to 0.364 vw1 so I, if i write here the equation number one because this is the value of vf1 in terms of vw1 now again i will move for tan theta so tan theta is equal to what so vf1 divided by this remaining length so how we can calculate this so its a value is vw1 minus u1 so vf1 divided by vw1 minus u1 so here vw1 is unknown as well as vf1 is also unknown so i can write or i can put here value of vf1 in terms of vw1 so tan of theta theta is 60 degree which is equal to 0 0.364 vw1 divided by vw1 minus uh, u1 so what is the value of u1 that is 28.27 so only here one unknown term that is vw1 so we can easily solve here so vw1 is equal to 35.79 meter per second now from this value of vw1 we can put here in the equation number one and we can calculate here value of vf1 and that is equal to 13.027 meter per second now we can easily calculate the given questions by using this data now we will move for the first question that is what is the volume flow rate q so formula is pi d1 b1 into vf1 so what is this pi d1 b1 that is the flow area 
and that is given 0.4 meter square so we will put here the value of pi d1 b1 that is 0.4 and what is the value of vf1 that is the volume of flow at the inlet tip so that is we have calculated that is 13.027 so what is the answer here 5.211 meter cube per second now second question is that work done per second on the turbine so what is the formula so this is the question to calculate the power develop because for the calculation of power develop we have to first find out what is the work done per second on the turbine so it's a formula is rho into q into vw1 u1 so rho is the density of water that is 1000 q that is the volume flow rate or we can say discharge that is 5.211 and vw1 and u1 that we have calculated earlier so what is the answer here so if we observe the answer that is 52,72,402 Newton meter per second. So this is the unit for the work done. So how to calculate the power developed? So this work done divided by 1000. Then we will get the power developed in kilowatt. So we will get the answer that is 5,272.402 kilowatt. Now the next question is the hydraulic efficiency. So for this hydraulic efficiency we have formula VW1 U1 divided by G into H. So VW1 and U1 we know the value that we have calculated G is 9.81 and what is the H. So here the value of H is given that is head 120 meter. So we have to put that value and answer is 0 0.859 point. But we have to write the efficiency answer in percentage so we multiply here with 100 and that is equal to 85.95 percent.